What's going on everyone, Trust the Buzz here if you are new to the channel. I make daily Charlotte Hornets content, so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how Sean's reported that Kelly Oubre is out four to six weeks due to a torn ligament and I believe his left hand, uh, he's electing to have surgery on it. I will say that Steve Clifford said that uh, Kelly Oubre is going to talk to the team trainer to see if he, you know, for a second opinion, but it does look like he's going to miss four to six weeks. Now, I know the first thing that you may think is, wow, our most valuable trade asset is now injured. Uh, but first off, I would like to say quickly, I hope uh, Kelly Oubre recovers. Of course, speed recovery as always. Um, and yeah, I get it. I get that you could say, wow, our best trade asset is may not even be able to be traded. He will be back uh, That four to six week range is in time for the trade deadline. So he'll be healthy at trade deadline and it could help the fact that he indeed hasn't been shooting all that well from three. And it, obviously it could be because his left hand. Um, but if you really want to get down to it, this video, I made it because it's a lot more than just Kelly Oubre. We've had the same thing happen with Melo Ball. We've had the same thing happen with Terry Rozier. We've had the same thing happen with uh, Caleb uh, do we have Cody? We have Cody. Uh, we had the same thing happen with Cody Martin, and we've had the same thing happen with Gordon Hayward. That's four players. What? No, five players counting Kelly Oubre, where we were told one injury end up being another, or just end up being worse, and the player was still out there. They it was reported that he's been having this injury since like the first week of the season, and yet he was out there playing. It does not make any sense. I'm really just fed up with this team. It's the results are one thing, right? You can't, as much as us Charlotte Hornets fans would like a good team, it, you just can't bank on the team being good every year. It, it, you just can't. That's not how sports work. You know, sometimes you're just going to have terrible seasons. It's just unfortunate us. We've had a lot of terrible seasons. However, the, te the team is just sabotaging themselves. The organization is just sabotaging themselves. There was no reason... Like, you were willing to sit out Terry Rozier because he was injured. Because Terry Rozier, after he was injured at the beginning of the year, he was like, oh, I'll be back against, you know, the Hawks. Didn't play for a, a few weeks. Um, Lamella Ball, he was rushed back. He admitted that he was rushed back. Um, Gordon Hayward, uh, another person who has been had an injury and was out there playing. Like, it just doesn't make any sense why this is happening. And I do not care. Like, I know people are going to be like, oh, well, you know, they thought they were going to had a chance. You didn't have a chance. I am sorry, but you do not have a chance. You barely made it last year. You haven't added anything to the team this year. And then all of a sudden, you think you have a chance when the East got so much better. It it doesn't make it. There's no way they came into the season thing and they really had a chance. I was shocked that Hornets fans really thought they had a chance. And it's been proven. I don't care what injuries or not. It's been proven that they stood no chance. So it makes no sense why you're playing guys who are injured, especially guys who can give you draft capital, you know, at the trade deadline. Does not make any sense. All these guys except LaMelo Ball and maybe Cody Martin, these are guys that were possibly trade candidates and you just let them go out there and continue to hurt themselves. I know that the players have a say so. I know that the team has a say so. But part of the team's job is to protect the players from themselves. You know what I mean? That That's part of the job. That's literally part of the job is that you if you give them the no and but they give themselves the OK, it's part of your job to step in and say, I really don't think so. Like, do not. You're not allowed to play. And I know that like you could, some guy could feel like he's, you know, nobody's ever hundred percent, but some guy could feel like he's ready to play. And then all of a sudden he's not, I get all, I get everything, but it just does not make sense that this continuously happens this year. They need to really look into the strength and conditioning or whatever's going on with this team. It's just, and it, it, also this is not the only way the team has sabotaged themselves. They sabotage themselves in a hundred other different ways just this season alone. So I'm not just going to blame it all on injury, but I'm just, I'm really fed up with this team. I'm really fed up with just how they do their business. I'm really fed up with just how they run their organization. I'm really fed up how they just, I don't know. I don't, I really do not know what to think of this team. It's just ridiculous. And it's going to continue to rub off on the players. I mean, we can we can change that whole roster. We can take off Lamelo. We can take off Lamelo. Get rid of everybody. Start with a brand new team. I guarantee you, a lot of the things that we're seeing with this team will happen with the next team because it's coming down from the front office. It's coming down from the organizational leads, and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that we have to keep dealing with this. And like I said, it this really has nothing to do with Kelly Oubre's actual injury. It's just the fact that. 
it's been bothering him since the first week of the season and he has not missed the game until recently so it just doesn't and then on top of that let's say that he was okay and you didn't want to sit him he didn't want to sit and it really wasn't that bad to where you need to sit him why are we kelly Oubre plays some of the most minutes on the team same with terry rose here why are we playing these guys this many minutes when we know that they're not going to win we know that their possible trade assets it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever and i know you could talk about oh well we're trying to get the best value and this that and the other so teams need to see how good no it does not matter it does not matter the team had already dug themselves deep enough in this hole where at this point if you're trading anybody you take what you can get i'm not saying you take the lowest offer available you of course want to you know scound you know search the market and see what's available out there but it, when you're when you dig yourself this far into the hole like this team has allowed themselves to be you do not go after value <laughs> you can't go after value you don't have any leverage so it's just stupid it's really stupid how this team is ran it's ridiculous and i mean I don't know. It, it's one of those things that really make you not even just want to watch. Not, not, no disrespect to the players. It, it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't want to support this team. I'm tired of just dealing with just how terrible they ran. And then, once again, never hear anything. Uh, he doesn't even lie to us. Michael Jordan, Mitch Cupcheck, they don't even come out there and lie to us. <laughs> they just don't say anything while all this stuff goes on. It's ridiculous and I'm tired of it. Um, but anyway, this video is not supposed to be long because I actually have stuff to do. Uh, but I recorded this during my lunch break just to let you guys know. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.